This time, after receiving requests for an English version of the tutorial from people who watched the Japanese tutorial video, on how to do a voice change using the files from the previous trained models of the July 2023 revision and other files. I decided to create an English narrated version of the tutorial video as well. I hope that this series of information will be of use to those who want to make the most of the past trained models created by RVC Web UI. First, put together the files of the trained model that you have created previously and other files in a folder with the same name as the name of the train model. This time, I'm trying to include NPY format files, but I think that only PTH format files and index format files will be sufficient. When the files are ready, upload them to the My Drive on Google Drive. Then, launch the RVC Web UI. The RVC Web UI has been launched. Place the file uploaded to Google Drive in the appropriate location in Google Collaboratory. The procedure in the video is just an example, but please be sure to place the PTH format file in the weights folder. Once placed, I will run model inference. The rest of the model inference setup will be performed by referring to the RVC Web UI tutorial videos I have published on this channel and the information on the article page. Note that trained model created with the RVC Web UI tutorial code for the RVC V2 model should be used with the RVC Web UI tutorial code for the RVC V2 model. Speaker ID seem to be fine as zero. Now, let's perform the voice change. You were able to perform a voice change using a file related to a past study model. This is a simple tutorial movie but effective way to utilize the past trained models. See you soon.